hey friends how are you all i hope you are fine so friends in today lecture i am going to tell you the basic fundamentals of microeconomics and macroeconomics uh, i hope friends that you all know what is the basic definition of economics economics is that branch uh, which deals with the allocation of resources which are at your disposal in the most efficient manner this is basically economy what we uh, you know in everyday life what we consider economy this is economy and uh, it varies from you know country to country civilization to civilization community to community household to household so economy is not only in the context of a country it is also in the context of a household it is also in the context of an institution it is also in the conduct of a you can say an organization everything so this is basically what economics is now there are two parts of economics one is macroeconomics second is microeconomics so first we are going to deal with microeconomics we are just going to see the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics now the term micro denotes small so it is quite obvious to you that um, this uh, this deals at a very small stage at a very minute stage and macro obviously the word micro entails bigger so obviously this entails a slightly larger thing so this is basically the difference between micro and macroeconomics now when we talk about microeconomics we conduct a study of the individual units this is what we do in microeconomics we conduct a study of the individual units that is we look at individual factors and we make planning for separate factors separately this is what we are do when we talk about microeconomics the allocation of <coughs> resources is done in stages first we have to decide that what we have to produce then we decide how we have to produce that thing and then we decide how much we have to produce this is microeconomics because obviously you will produce a product according to its demand in the market how much the demand is that you are going to do that we are going to do and uh, if, when you come to know that this much is the demand of this product in that proportion you make it now there is one thing that uh, uh, the point is there is a factor named factor pricing in microeconomics okay factor pricing in microeconomics and it has four factors land labor capital and organization this is basically the basic of entrepreneurial ecosystem now when an entrepreneur starts off opening an enterprise what he does he first decides that from where i will bring the land what will be the cost of that land then he decides that whom i am going to employ in my company and what wages i will have to pay them and what different specialization those people will have and what work each person will do and in what time limit what is his skill from employing him to deploying him on the work and to extract efficiency from him and give him money all things depend on you so first was land second was labor third is capital you know for setting up a factory or an entrepreneurial ecosystem or literally anything you need capital okay capital is the thing without which you cannot start anything uh, you know that is why these capital markets are running these financial markets are running so for any enterprise to run or for any any project you need capital and third is organization obviously a whole organization will comprise of all the activities that are required to run a business or any project so this is factor pricing that you have to calculate the price of each and every factor according to the needs and in the most efficient manner and this is a part of microeconomics okay now there is a term named slicing method slicing method in microeconomics what is slicing it is simple that a big thing you are going to cut it into slices simple this is slicing method and then you are going to treat a each and every part as separate this is microeconomics and there is one thing known as partial equilibrium analysis in microeconomics now what is partial equilibrium analysis this was given by an economist there is no need to remember the name one was partial equilibrium analysis and second was general equilibrium analysis general equilibrium analysis will come in macroeconomics partial equilibrium analysis comes in microeconomics partial equilibrium analysis says that suppose we have to decide the price of a particular product then while deciding and analyzing the price of that particular product if we are using partial equilibrium analysis that to macroeconomics this means that all other products price we have considered as constant and we have also considered the nature and behavior of the consumers as constant 
that means that when we are using partial equilibrium analysis we are not considering the price of a particular product dependent on other products that is we are considering the price of other products as constant the behavior and nature of consumers as constant and making them constant and the prices of other products as constant we are deciding the price of a particular product this is partial equilibrium analysis this comes in microeconomics but friends you very well know that a price of any particular product depends on many factors and it also includes the price of other products also this depends <laughs> upon whether what the product is suppose for you example you talk about tea okay now obviously if the price of coffee shoots up considerably suppose coffee was uh, you know available for 200 rupees per kg and suddenly the cost of coffee goes 2000 rupees per kg so 200 rupees per kg 2000 rupees per this is super inflation then what will happen people will stop considering coffee and they will take tea more so obviously the demand for tea will increase and obviously if the demand for tea will increase then its price will also increase because supply demand curve is there so simply you know that microeconomics in totality is not always right so when now we come to macroeconomics i am not saying that microeconomics is wrong these two are different fundamentals micro and macro are different fundamentals and they are in many aspects interdependent on each other <coughs> coming to macroeconomics what happens in macroeconomics macroeconomics talks about you know calculating or analyzing a set of factors as aggregates in totality we don't consider things in individual uh, in individual existence we consider them in totality that means macroeconomics is nothing else but it is a study of aggregates okay now we, we talk about you know calculating GDP so there are many methods of calculating GDP first is income method second is expenditure method so what does this says that for example whatever income people are earning in the whole country so obviously if they are earning that income they are going to spend it so what we do we just add the incomes of all the people and uh, get to know the GDP of the country second expenditure method what we do whatever people are spending we just add it and obviously people will spend in the economy and if they will spend in the economy that thing will go into the uh, you know uh, production process manufacturing process so that will be the total GDP so what are these methods doing we are adding up small units and going to a bigger larger scale that is on a national basis so that becomes the study of aggregates which becomes a part of macroeconomics now remember one thing macroeconomics is not necessarily only in the case of a, you know a country it can also be in the case of an organization it can also be in the case of a school it can also be in the case of a household okay for example in a household suppose the total expenses of a household comes out to be 5000 rupees okay so you calculated all the expenses and total figure came out to be 5000 so this becomes macroeconomics now you if you are going to break your expenses into small parts for example your electricity bills have come out as 800 rupees your telephone bill has come out as 1000 rupees your you know fooding bill has came out to be 1500 rupees so these are small parts this is micro so when you are breaking up a big figure into small small figures this becomes microeconomics and when you are talking about the whole figure in totality it becomes my macroeconomics now there is one method in macroeconomics known as lumping method uh, in microeconomics what it was it was slicing method in macroeconomics what it becomes it becomes lumping method lumping method you are creating lumps you are creating groups of things so obviously if you are creating groups that means you are creating aggregate and if you are creating aggregate it automatically becomes macroeconomics now we'll come to the general equilibrium analysis what does general equilibrium analysis mean it is exactly the opposite of partial equilibrium analysis in general equilibrium analysis price determination of any particular product is done in accordance with the price of other objects also that is in partial equilibrium analysis of microeconomics what we did that for determining the price of a particular product we consider the price of other products as constant but in general equilibrium analysis of macroeconomics <coughs> price of a particular product is determined keeping in mind the price of other products in the same domain or in different domains no matter how it is for example i will just give an example suppose that we are in india and uh, something bad happens suppose some sort of a war with pakistan starts 
ओके वॉर विथ पाकिस्तान स्टार्ट एंड सपोज इन दिट इज दिस स्टैंड साउदी अरेबिया स्टार्ट सपोर्टिंग पाकिस्तान देन द फ्लो ऑफ नेचुरल गैस एंड पेट्रोल फ्रॉम साउदी अरेबिया टू इंडिया विल स्टॉप बिकॉज इफ साउदी अरेबिया इज सपोर्टिंग पाकिस्तान इन द वार दैन ऑब्वियसली इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस टू इंडिया सो इफ द फ्लो ऑफ ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस इन इंडिया विल इज विल रिड्यूस देन ऑब्वियसली द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ ऑयल एंड पेट्रोल विल बी लेस सो ऑटोमेटिकली गोइंग बाई द यू नो बैलेंस ऑफ द सप्लाई डिमांड कर द prices of oil will increase and if the prices of oil will increase then obviously the prices of petroleum will increase and if the prices of petroleum will increase petroleum is the lifeline of the country the oil vehicles everything which are you know running on the road it will become difficult it will become expensive and if petroleum will become expensive the prices of things which are transported like milk meat and all other things they all will become expensive so this is general equilibrium analysis in which the price of a particular product is dependent on the price of other products so these are the basically the fundamentals of microeconomics and macroeconomics i hope you have liked the video friends you can just clear clarify your doubts and i will upload more useful videos thank you for watching it have a great day